So, good morning, guys. I'm Olaf Larsen. I work with Avinor. We operate 45 airports throughout Norway, and we also control the Norwegian airspace. We believe that uh, reducing carbon emissions is the right thing to do, and that it also makes perfect business sense. We have to do more than business as usual to uh, save our planet. Um, flying electrically might sound like science fiction to most of you, and it it did, did to us as well. But we have an electric aircraft now. We've been flying it for six months. It works perfectly. We are monitoring the development in this domain. And I can assure you that Ampere is one of the most promising companies on the planet working on technologies towards electrification of air travel. So I'm thrilled to introduce Kevin Nortiker. Please come on stage. <laughs> All of Norway, all the time. That's the goal of the airline whose flights connect this country. As a result, and with the great airports from Avenor, Norway's remote population can get to Oslo and back in the same day. And even more critical are the 400,000 patients transported annually from their homes to hospital. For these communities, aviation is literally a lifeline. But Connectivity comes at a significant cost. The planes we fly are destroying our environment. Every year, aviation injects over 800 million tons of CO2, that's almost 3% of global emissions, directly into our atmosphere. And for the airlines that fly regional flights, the economics are challenging. They struggle to be profitable due to high operating costs. Those that fly, often only survive because of hundreds of millions of dollars that governments provide in subsidies. Well, I'm Kevin Nortker, CEO and co-founder of Ampere, and we are solving these problems today by electrifying aviation. It <laughs> Revolutions in our industry are propelled by new propulsion technologies. First was the dawn of powered flight. Then came the jet age, and now we're entering the third revolution in air travel, and it will be electric. So, <laughs> thank you. So, what are some of the benefits of electrification? Electric aircraft reduce fuel costs by up to 90%. Maintenance costs can be reduced by up to 50%. Takeoffs and landings can be ultra quiet. At Ampere, our mission is to be the world's most trusted developer of practical, compelling electric aircraft, from short-haul cargo to supersonic passenger transport. We believe in a future of exciting new airplanes, like our Tailwind, which you see behind me. But while our heads may be in the clouds, our feet are firmly on the ground. For our first product, we are transforming an existing passenger plane to electric. This twin-engine plane has a, a combustion engine and an electric engine, providing redundancy and improved levels of safety. When it flies next year, it will be the first of its kind. Leveraging the electric vehicle supply chain and existing airframes, we're uniquely specialized in vehicle integration and optimization, opening the regulatory agenda, and engaging and building trust with the end users. While others are focused on solutions that may not be available for a decade or more, Ampere's roadmap is lean, agile, and scalable. Like a Tesla Roadster, our retrofit is a practical, compelling product developed and brought to market as quickly as possible. And like Tesla's roadmap, we will scale to larger planes. And we'll follow the same trajectory. Taking this approach enables us to make money at multiple points in the value chain, with upfront unit sales and recurring revenue from hardware leasing and lifecycle services. We've built the team to get this done, bringing expertise from big companies like Boeing, high-tech startups like SpaceX, and some of the world's top research institutes. And we're getting support. We have funding from some government agencies, an investment from an aircraft engine manufacturer, 
We're a member in some of the world's top startup accelerator programs, and we've won some great awards. But what matters most are our customers, the airlines where we're flying in the co-pilot seat. We are literally flying in their planes, talking with their leadership, their pilots, their maintenance crews, and their investors. This is how you build trust. And trust is why we will be the category leader in our industry. And it's working. Ampere already has letters of interest from airlines around the world who fly regional routes. And they don't want to wait for new planes. They want to fly our retrofits much sooner. We've partnered with Mokalele Airlines in Hawaii to, beginning next year, fly hundreds of hours on their routes with their pilots. And I am proud to announce that we intend to do the same here in Norway beginning next year with the connections that we've made during the Techstars program to fly those lifeline flights. So what does this mean practically to you and me? Well, Electrification significantly reduces operating costs and massively expands the number of viable routes. So take, for example, two of the largest cities here in Norway that are connected with just one daily flight. That flight's about 160 kilometers, just 35 minutes. If you miss that flight, your travel time could be up to three hours because of inconvenient connections or having to take ground transportation. And this is something we've all experienced, an inconvenience in our industry, because it happens all over the world. But by introducing new point-to-point -point routes flown profitably for the first time with electric aircraft, we can connect communities in a way that has never been possible before. What this looks like is a doubling in the number of routes and the number of flights. Now that is an exciting future. And it increases Ampere's market opportunity to over $4 billion in a trillion-dollar industry. So in summary, at Ampere, we are connecting people and communities around the world by building electric airplanes that are cleaner, quieter, and significantly less costly to operate. We're not only delivering on the promise of electrifying air travel, we are leading the charge. I hope that everyone here in the audience today can catch a ride with us, too. We're looking for partners, collaborators, and investors. And so I invite all of you to come fly with us. Thank you.